Hey guys, this is John. Welcome to another Using the Clock as a Weapon video. We're going to play five games and five games only, folks. That's the drill on this series. And let's try to play fast and aggressive. It'd be interesting if I could push the pace, force myself outside my comfort zone, all that stuff today. So fingers crossed. Let's do this. Been a little while since I played some competitive blitz. And I hope you're all doing well, by the way. Okay. Could play d6. That's actually a pretty standard operation. Looking for e5. Hedgehog style position. But I might be gaining a tempo of sorts here. Okay, so they back off. That makes sense. Now let's play... Hmm. I might have to play for d5. I'm just thinking what order I want to do this in. Let's actually play knight a6 first. And then I think I'm going to play rook c8 next and hit this pawn. Yeah, let's do that. Or I could go d5 right away. Let's do this first. I don't mind a trade here. I think in the end, it's probably about equal. So I would expect b3. Now I can also, I can consider playing knight e8. That move is not crazy. So b3, knight e8, maybe. Takes though, okay. Well, let's just swap. Yeah, keep trading, take. Now, this square is guarded, which is nice. Okay. Drop this back. Defend the bishop. Pretty much even on the clock. Maybe a tiny, tiny edge for me. So pretty much level. Okay. Could go here. Take. There's some possible trades. Just calculating for a moment. Yeah, I think I should go here. Let's do it. Maybe my opponent's going to go after the a7 pawn. I don't know. Like, take, take, knight c6. Plays knight c6 immediately. Got a capture. Okay. How about... Let's go here now. Hit the bishop. I think next I should take the file. That feels correct. Take the C file. Unless white tries to force the issue, maybe with A3, keep the bishop on C6. Goes back. Yeah, let's seize the file. A3. Okay, so knight D5, E4, huh? Could play knight C2. That feels a little bit shaky. With the pin. Um, knight a6 is an option. Feels a little awkward. I'm going to do it, though. This is defended for now. I don't want to spend too much time. Probably b4 or maybe rook d1 would make sense here. And I feel like I need to play g5. Knight d5 is another option. Well, let's go g5, make some luft. And here, I might play my rook back. Ah, oh, but there's bishop b7 at the end. Okay, so they didn't play that. How about here now? Oh, there's an issue there at the end. All right, let's bring this in. Clearly, this is an issue. I'm trying to create counterplay right now, though. We're both under a minute. So let's threaten this. Yeah, I am I am a little worried about this piece, though. I need to figure out how to how to get it in the game. Maybe knight c7 next. Even if I have to give up the a7 pawn or something. Goes there. Okay, let's trade. Play H6. Um, <clears throat> let's come here. Okay, I do drop this pawn, but I'm going to try to activate somehow. Hit the knight. Knight C4, maybe. Even if I have to go back, I think that's fine for now. Let's just play like this. This pawn. 
I'm up on the clock. Um, let's come here. Let's bring this over. Oh, hits that. Okay, let's counterattack. Getting ready for the time scramble, right, folks? <laughs> ah, good move, good move. Um, I got a take, I think. Okay, keep your wits about you, John. Oh, yeah, they're pre-moving. I'd be okay with a draw here, I think. Yeah, okay. Good game. Yeah, I, um, I didn't panic in the end, even though I was down in the position, and I think down some time at some point, so I'm happy about that. Let's play E4 here. First game in the books. Now, I know I could look for uh, increment blitz, but not many people play increment blitz, and I really want to work on time management. So I do hear those of you who mention that from time to time. If it was more popular, I would definitely consider playing it more often. But I got to work on my time management with, with no increment or, you know, over the board, even having a small increment, like a two-second increment, is essentially like no increment <laughs> a lot of times. That's what it feels like. So It's a good opportunity for me to work on this. Knight C4. I do realize a lot of these games devolve into time scrambles, though. No doubt. Okay, let's play F4. Let's get rid of this backward pawn. Doubled pawn. Okay, pull this here. So far, so good. I'm playing an exchange variation. The exchange variation of the Rui Lopez can be aggressive in some cases. Pretty easy option to play. F5, interesting. Let's play F3. Reinforce. If I take Rook G8, it didn't look good, so I'm going to keep that in reserve. Maybe play it now, just step off this alignment. Because now with Bishop G7, I think I could take. Okay. Let's play the Rook over. Expect. Wow, okay, they're really going to force the issue. Interesting. Aggressive, aggressive. Okay, let's bring this over. I'm going to try to make them calculate this, the tension. I'm just going to play a move that looks useful. And then, hmm. If I take here, they're going to take with the F pawn, I assume. That might not be so bad. I think I can get in here. Let's do that. Looks kind of nice. Some pressure towards C7. Also, maybe this. Let's do that. Here, here. Maybe they barely keep it together. Rook H8, Rook G5, Rook H6. Looks sketchy for them, though. We'll try to make them come up with that. I, I do have a time edge. I feel like I've been using time, but I have an edge, actually. Okay, play this here. What, 95 now? Ninety five. I think I take H5. Start chopping those pawns. Yeah, let's take. Okay, take, take Bishop F4, perhaps. If knight f3, this it's nice that this is guarded. Thing is, I don't know if I want to take next, because then they get the pressure against h2, so I might need to play like this move first. We go there. Hmm. Let's play this back. I'm going to keep my dark square bishop for now. Try to extract some value from that and come here. Possible 96 idea. Um, let's take this way. Feels a little more direct. Okay, now I'm going to take, take here. Let's 
start pushing maybe. There's bishop a3, I guess. Hmm. If I take a6... Uh, I don't like how my, how my knight's positioned there, so I'm just going to push, and then I'm going to go here. Focus. Oh, and I immediately lost the h-pawn. Great. <laughs> All right, so lose, lost some control there. I am still up on the clock, though, silver lining. Let's centralize the knight, never a bad idea. Let's bring this over. Yeah, they're already starting to hustle here. Um, let's go over, maybe check. Okay, no draw yet. If I check, okay, let's go here, pin again. Now we just wait. Let's attack that. Try for knight d4. Ooh, tricky for them. Yeah, my knight can be pesky here, that's for sure. Check, check. Okay, and we pick up the bishop. Nice. All right, John, keep your wits about you once again. Plenty of time. He has two seconds. Two seconds, so I should be able to get this done. Okay. You know, that was an interesting game because I felt like I was really being pushed on the clock there, but actually I had a nice reserve of time. So, all right, third game. And I'm kind of picking up on a tell from this player. They seem content to just repeat the position, probably due to the slight rating difference. So maybe I can somehow capitalize on that tendency. Okay, they want to go E4. Is there a way I can imbalance the position? C5 is kind of interesting. Bishop f5, but they'll chase me. Let's play bishop f5. I know they can chase me with knight h4. I'm going to invite this imbalance, though, just to make a bit of an imbalance. You guys know I'm a Scandi player, so I don't mind playing with this sort of thing. Let's go here. I'm going to try to destroy their bishop pair or get them to commit to f4. I think that'd be a bit of a victory for me. I don't think something like this works. So let's see how much they want to keep that bishop here. I'm going to guess they're going to allow me to trade it. I might castle queenside. No, they actually do play f4. Okay, come back. You know, it's tempting to use the h file, but you don't have to necessarily castle queenside. I'm going to consider it, though. Let's see what happens over the next couple moves. Wow, they're going for it. Okay. Yeah, they want this game. All right, so queen e7 mate, also queen g6 is threatened. So here or knight f8 are probably the moves. I think this is probably good. I'm going to play it. That's their plan. Okay. Step over here. They're, they're trying to go bishop a3 and hop on the pin there. Maybe this was a little safer. I probably should have gone this direction, actually. But that's okay. Uh-huh. Let's play for the swap. Even if I lose the g6 pawn, I'm not going to sweat that. I just want to get queens off the board. They don't want that. Maybe go here, but then queen takes g6. Okay, let's take queen g7, rook e8, prepare knight e4. I think this move could be handy. Ah, I also have rook h7. Okay, rook h7 is handy. Maybe they saw that. What about knight d5? Knight d5, queen g7, though. 
could still play knight e4. Bishop d6 is another move. Bishop d6 feels right here. Spending a little time here, but I'm trying to kill their initiative off. I think this is a good move, unless I'm missing something. Because if they want to keep queens on, they got to let me take their dark square bishop, which they would hate to do. And it might allow me to, in the future, play king c7, which I think I'm going to do now. I'm expecting like rook e5, yep. Okay. <clears throat> mm. They still have an annoying initiative here. I'm trying to kill off. Okay, let's go rook h6. And then here. Yeah, this is where they're going to repeat. Okay, let's do this. 94. Oh, I spent a lot of time there, though. Don't like that. But I think I came up with a good, good idea. They might be best off trading on f5. Yup. Okay, so this is an endgame. I think I can technically win. But I got to be fast now. Clearly. Trying to maneuver against their weak pawns. Ooh, and they blundered. Nice. Nice. Check. 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 Um, let's take this one. Come here. And mate. Okay. Nice. This is better, John. This is better. Okay, let's keep playing. Could choose a different opponent, but this player is... Uh, pressing me in a way I want to get better at. So let's keep going. Okay, Grinfeld. I've tried so much stuff against the Grinfeld over the years. Let's play this. We'll go down one of the main lines. Uh, maybe Queen A4 check. I have played this a little bit. Don't remember too many details, but five or so years ago, I was playing this pretty frequently against the Grinfeld. This is how it goes in chess. You uh, you play some line and then you forget the details. Father Time remains undefeated, right? Sorry, this is cut off a little bit. Well, okay, it'll do. Two and a half out of three. You guys get the picture. All right, B6. Let's go here. Hmm. Okay, so will they play for c5? They do. Let's just castle. Rook d1. They could play their knight to a5. But then I might stick the queen here. That's a common place for it. Okay, now let's go here. I do remember this move features a lot in this system. Try to come here. Queen f4 could be played, trying to go after this pawn. Looks a little shaky, though, for black. Yeah, let's go here now. And I think this is a good moment for d5. Now I'm going to pull the queen back here. And they didn't insert the trade on d4, so that makes me feel pretty good about my chances. Interesting move there. They want to pivot their knight to d6 eventually. Okay, so let's go here. Try to meet knight b7 with perhaps knight c4. There could be some sort of b5 thing. Maybe I go a4 at some point too. Let's play a4 first. Control this a little bit better. And again, trying to keep that about 10 second separation if I can. Let's play f3. Maybe they'll play f4 and go for a King's Indian style attack, but it looks kind of slow. 
a5 or knight c4 let's go knight c4 i want to trade that knight my knight's not very good so seems wise to swap it okay bring this over looking for a5 i'm actually not too concerned about my king as of now could be a thing coming up but as of now i think it's fine let's uh let's see if they want to trade the light square bishops or allow the trade you could argue my bishop is good but i don't see much of a future for it other than swapping Okay, let's come here. Now, do they go g4? They do, but can't I just take now? Queen d7. Okay. Come here. Hmm. Some sort of f3 idea, I suppose. I don't think I have to react to that yet, though, because I have bishop g3 or bishop e3 even. If I go here, queen here is bad. Let's play this one, because I might want to take this. So they capture, okay. Hmm. Okay, let's take. Now I need to speed up. See, I'm reverting to my old habits. They're going to try to attack me somehow. Let's take. Bring this back. Trying for rook f1, maybe. Ooh, bishop coming there. That's nasty. Okay, I do have this move, though. Possibly some discoveries. Like queen here, check. Ooh, this is a timely move, actually. 29 seconds, though. I got to hustle. I'm playing some good defense in these games. Let's try to keep it up here, down the stretch. I think we're headed towards an end game. Wow, they actually play that one. Take. Okay, we're going to come here. I know that this pawn may hang. But I think I check and then... Okay, now let's definitely get out of the way here. Um, let's check. Okay, let's force the queen trade. I don't know. I just need to play something in a hurry. Take the file. Promote. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that shows you my mouse clicking abilities right there. I don't think I would have made that. See, there they had the uh, the advantage in the time scramble. So, yeah, I don't think I was going to checkmate in that time. I think a crucial decision in that time scramble, by the way, was whether to trade queens. Maybe I should have kept queens on. It was close here, though. Possibly here I should have defended somehow. I don't know. Uh, not giving up both the pawns. But they just played faster than me down the stretch, so. Okay, I'm going to offer them a rematch. They might be playing, though. Let's see if we can find a new opponent for this last game. All right, but again, I'm pretty proud of how I'm handling these games. I uh, definitely don't mind getting into most end games ahead a little bit on the clock. That game, you know, I was better in the position, but had to find some some tough defensive moves. I like what I'm seeing so far. Okay. Playing a 2660 here in the final game. Exchange variation. Sorry, guys. Not, not so aggressive. <laughs> but that's the way it goes sometimes. Okay, I'm happy to take here. Yeah, let's play knight back to d7. Because now if they want to defend this, they got to play f4. Their trade first and then f4 or yeah, f4 directly. 
Could take... Let's castle first, though. See if we can kind of shore up the king side. Again, I don't mind playing with this structure, if allowed. Can you tell it's getting a little colder around here? I did bust out the sweater. <laughs> One of the most comfortable pieces of clothing I own, by the way. I'm a big fan. Big fan of those Nordic sweaters. Okay, queen d4, kind of annoying. Let's play queen b6. I'd be okay with a trade if I can get my knight in. Ultimately, I'd like to get my knight to one of these squares, but I think this is okay for now. Especially if I can pivot back. Okay, do I have to be worried about this, though? Maybe I should have put a stop to that. Hmm. Yeah, let's play a6. I feel like I kind of need to play that move. So play is going to gravitate towards the c-file here, I believe. Got a time edge. Pretty substantial one. So even if the position is looking dryish, I'm going to use this rook because I think the queen side is going to be the theater of action here. Yeah, we might have a straight-up knight end game. I wouldn't be surprised if white just traded everything down the c-file. But I can try to maneuver in that knight end game. I see a route in potentially getting my knight to d3. I, like, I wonder if here might be a decent move. Nah, probably should take and just play knight c5. Okay, knight e4. Hmm, f6 even. How about a5 to start? a5 looks decent. Just control this square. And then... I know the computers often like grabbing a lot of space on the queen side in this type of scenario, so I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to play b4. My king's a little far away from the action. That's the only misgiving I have, but this looks like a pretty good plan because it cramps white. And if they play knight d3, I can check. they got to watch this. I've kind of created a, an outpost on c3. They constantly have to watch that square now. Maybe they try to maneuver in. Yeah, they could They could go after this. That is a downside to how I'm playing. Knight d4. Should I maybe go for f6 now? Feels passive, though. Could play a4. That's not really the spirit of what I'm going for, though. Uh, I don't know. I'm burning all my time edge here. Let's give a check. Might just check a couple times, see what happens. Go king c2. King c2. Okay, f6, knight d4. Trade. Yeah, I just see them continually getting back there. Knight c3 runs into that. Okay, I think I got to go back. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to play in response to knight c6, knight b7. I didn't see any other way. But now they're kind of getting in with their king. Take. Okay, forcing them back. Good. Let's bring up my king. There's this H pawn, though. Let's try to force them out of here. Take with a pawn. Still got a small time edge. I know I burned a lot of time there, but a bit of an edge. Okay, I think time to play a4. Start trying to do something on the queen side. Maybe I can use my e and my b pawns in tandem here. King d3, knight c3, a3. Tricky. Ah, knight c3, I'm threatening e4 at the same time. All right. Let's go here. This is going to be close in terms of the position. I'm getting, I'm advancing with tempo back to F3 probably. Um, let's take this. Push. Okay, I'm just going to track that pawn down. Oh, they have check. They missed it. 
They had 94. Some sort of Zugzwang? Ugh. Yeah, I think they earned this draw. They earned this draw. Let's just let them take this. GG. I mean, that was good defense, I think, towards the end. I thought I was going to win that one down the stretch. But yeah, they earned that half point. Uh, real quick, let's see if I could have won that night ending. I don't know about this A5, B5, B4 plan. It felt right in the moment, but the downside was my A pawn became weak. I'm going to guess this probably is a draw. Yeah, king c4, oof, it feels so precarious. But I'm not working with much here. Two pass pawns, but my knight is in a pretty bad situation. Looks like this was a draw throughout in knight b2. I tried to make it hard for white's king to come over, but no dice. Okay, yeah, well played. But you know what, guys? I'm pretty happy with my performance. I know I played down in all these games, our uh, five games in this Using the Clock as a Weapon series where I try to stay ahead of my opponents or even on the clock. And I'm ultimately pretty happy about that, how it turned out. I'm not happy about this being off-center, but that's just a perfectionist tendency kicking in. But yeah, that was, that was undefeated, right? Where's my archive? Yeah, cool. So the only game that I can remember being significantly down on the clock was this last one against a arc query so game number four what about this first game this is also a draw yeah this one i was defending but i think my speed and my defensive um steadiness let's say was a big factor in in the score today so all right hope you guys enjoyed this i know these are not the most educational videos i will go back to you know the climbing the rating ladder stuff. And I have lots of other educational content planned in the future, but I'm a better coach, a better teacher if I'm playing and challenging myself too. And this is part of that. And it's a, it's a fun way to include you guys. I think all of us can relate to wanting better time management. It's something I've struggled with my entire chess career. So I like having the accountability of doing this live and I look forward to your feedback. So let me know if you guys have any thoughts or questions and thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon. Bye guys.